and then budget. So why are we here? Um, this kind of system is something that TechShop had. Uh, hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. <laughs> um, and I uh, really liked the simplicity of it. Um, but when I looked into something similar for us, it was like each badging device that we'd have on every piece of equipment was hundreds of dollars, and then they wanted tens of thousands of dollars for the development and software and rolling it out, and I was just like, this is crazy, we can do this, this is not that complicated. Um, and so uh, I lobbied and, and managed to convince um, Christina and company to give me a little budget, 300 bucks, we still be happy to know we came in under budget significantly. <laughs> Woo! Um, and uh, so that's what this group is about. Uh, we also got a ton of equipment um, from uh, Dennis, who is fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna just show the, the basic ideas. Um, Amanda will go into more detail. But the idea is basically for students or faculty and staff to uh, make a reservation online for a piece of equipment that they want to use. Um, they go to one of the maker spaces. Uh, the original idea was to use their photo ID um, because our photo IDs have the barcodes on them and you can take a picture of that and actually get the barcode out of it. Um, which uh, Forrest actually demonstrated we are capable of doing that. We'll talk more about why we're not using photos for today's demonstration in a moment. Um, one issue also is the need to pause equipment. Um, if you're doing a big project and you're on the CNC router, for four hours. Um, if you're between jobs and you're at a point where you could step away and you need to use the facilities, get a bite to eat, whatever, it is normal to need to pause access without relinquishing access. So when you're done, you wanna relinquish it so the next person can use it, maybe you're done early. Um, but pausing was important for us. So you hold your reservation, but you're not there. Um, and then deactivating when you're done. Um, on the administration side, we want to be able to easily add new equipment. We want to be able to um, assign what privileges. So for example, there might be uh, a table saw and three different workshops. If you successfully complete those workshops, any one of those three could get you privileges to access the table saw. So not just a one-to-one, -one, but we have a whole mix of things. Um, we want to be able to create different rules. So we're going to have the Makersphere uh, staff that are full-time that need to access everything but then there's faculty like me that I should really be trained before I access certain machines. Uh, and perhaps we have, you know, Arcadia, who's a woodworking expert, she already by virtue of her job should have access to all those machines, but perhaps not the 3D printer or welding stuff. So we wanna make sure that we respect uh, faculty and staff expertise while keeping safety in mind um, and the ability to just assign roles uh, and go from there. 